The darkness, it's spreading all over YouTube. I will have their hearts. I will take their hearts. Jim. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Monologuing? Jim! You had a Coke again, didn't you? Maybe one. God damn it, Jim! We are a Pepsi only channel! But the darkness. Get the fucking lights back on and let's get this damn review done. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what we just saw, but wow. Yes. Hey, it's me, Jimmy D, and welcome to our Kingdom Hearts 3 review. A review that we didn't know we were going to do 13 years ago. Well, I assumed <laughs> we were going to do one. You, you know, we were going to have a YouTube channel. <laughs> it's, like with, it's like with Final Fantasy 7. I assume we're going to do a review of that in about seven years. <laughs> For us right. to review this, this is a very personal, personal game. Review. It's this is not something to where it's I've only played one, yeah. two, and I've seen a Cliff Notes version of the rest. This <laughs> okay. Kingdom Hearts is a c game series that me and Soul here have talked about, played since seventh, eighth grade, two thousand and six. Yeah. Okay. Um. And this isn't, we've just played it once. No, we've played it multiple times. times. And we discussed um, where the story was going, all that back then. So, so, what we're trying to get at is, this is going to be a somewhat biased review. Okay? And we're, we're, it's not going to be a full. It's not going to be a full fanboy review. No. Okay. Because there are legitimate criticisms that I have with this game. Yes, me too. Okay. But I would be lying if I would say, hey, <laughs> we're going to come at this non-biased. Oh, yeah. we're going to come at this biased. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's just it, it's just hard. We cannot come at it. It's not like this game is Red Dead or Far Cry or, or even Fallout. God of Like... We can't come at it unbiased because we have such a personal connection over your years. It, right? it's, it's the equivalent of if they redid Sinnoh. Yeah. Okay. And you say, okay, well, how would you review Sinnoh? Well, <laughs> here's the thing. Yes, exactly. So, without further ado, we're going to st we're we're starting this. All right. So, all right. Kingdom Hearts three. Is not a good game. Kingdom Hearts 3 is a great game, but heavily flawed. Exactly. Let me explain. Combat wise, story wise at points, um, mechanically wise, visually wise, audio wise, knocks it out of the fucking park. Yes. Not Red Dead Redemption 2 knocks it out of the fucking park to where that literally changes the way of storytelling. But it fucking does it great. Yeah, it does. Okay. It's fucking gorgeous. Oh, especially the Pirates world? The Frozen world. I haven't had this much fun in snow since God of War. The snow was fantastic in the Frozen world. Um, um, the Tangle world. It's so fucking colorful. Um... Toy Story, it literally gets you to the feeling of what it's like to be a microscopic toy. The fact that, you know, with especially with Tangled, you can put the movie scenes and the Kingdom Hearts scenes side by side, and honestly, you would pick the Kingdom Hearts scenes over some of the movie scenes. No, that's what people did. Like, when they went in the Frozen world, they did Let It Go. Yeah. They did a shot-by-shot -shot comparison of the movie and the game, and it pretty much looks almost identical yeah video wise it's fucking great yes okay i for one i've always liked um face my fears with skrillex and a lot of people don't like it because of skrillex it's still and good. um the original uh hakaromo utsu i think is what the theme is 
Um, it's not my favorite. My favorite is still the in, the uh, the intro song to Kingdom Hearts Two. Mm-hmm. That's still my favorite. But this is a very 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 close second. Yeah. Um. Now we're gonna get into the more double edged sword stuff, combat wise. I have. I have a love hate relationship with the combat. Yeah, I, I, I'll, 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 I do too, and I'll explain that after you. Like, I love the variety, the different Keyblade archetypes, the different enemy types, the fact that it's both nobody's heartless and unversed. Okay. Um, I hate the fact that attractions are fucking broken. Okay, they are, and that after a while. It gets very repetitive of X X X X X X Mash Triangle X X X X X X X Super X X X X X X X X Blizzard X X X X X X X Thunder. So I agree. The attractions are broken because is I knew as soon as Buzz Lightyear's blaster showed up, I was like, okay, well, I at least got two stages clear with this alone Um, i've i've taken down multiple bars of boss's health with the blaster in game yeah um also with the keyblades once i got this is a personal thing once i got the tangled keyblade i oh my god i didn't use any other keyblade the only one i used was the pirates keyblade i did use the pirates um on the Final battle with Xehanort. Because yeah, I, I used the pirates to. once I got it. Yeah, I used the pirates on the final one because of its its homing attacks, which yeah. were great. It's here's the thing. Due to this combat, I f- do not feel or do or do I think that it is required for you to force the ultimate weapon. Nor do I want to force the ultimate weapon. Yeah, okay. I, mean, I don't see a the, point. No, I don't see a point. One, because I'll agree with everybody. Combat's super fucking easy in this game. It really is. Um, Even on proud mode. Because I know with Kingdom Hearts 2, I played it on normal mode. And mm-hmm. I still struggled with bosses. With some. With some bosses. Yeah. I, and I'm better at video games than you are. <laughs> certain video games. Certain video games, yes. But Kingdom Hearts is one of those games yeah. to where it's like, you I dedicated half my fucking life to. Yeah. You are better yeah. at me in Kingdom Hearts than... Um, but I didn't yeah. die for five worlds. No. no. No, dude. I didn't die... I've only, I only literally died twice throughout the entire game. Once in the Toy Story world because I was throwing out a potion and they hit me right when I was about to hit. And once Same. at the very end against Xehanort. Uh, and Z- that was because I, I ran out of items. Xehanort, I died a few times, especially to... The um, the first Xehanort battle with the thirteen different ones where you could only hit one of them, but they were all hitting you. See, I got that. I just kept spamming the fuck out of cure. Okay. See, I was trying to, but it caught me off guard quite a few times. Or I'd be yeah. halfway through doing cure and it not complete it. Well, see, that's why I love the pirate keyblade because when you activate the keyblade effect, um, it, that that activation effect breaks up any combo they do. Yeah, and so like because that's, that's really I kept doing that it. during the Zan. Yeah, I kept doing that during the Xehanort fight because he would just kept teleporting and teleporting and teleporting, and teleporting, and teleporting, and I would just activate it and it would break up his memo shit. Yeah, because before then I I had used exclusively the Tangled Blade since the Tangled World. And that's that was literally the first world I went to. I didn't go to Toy Story first. I went to Tangled. No. So I had the Tangled Blade through there. And I still used it near the end with Xehanort. It's just those first couple stages with him, I used the Pirates one. I was forced to because I could I had to break up those combos. Yeah. Uh, but that was it. And I went yeah. back to Tangled after that. No, um, and some of the Keyblades are even repeats. Like, the Toy Story 1 and the 100 Acre Wood ones are pretty much the same thing. Yeah, it's just different skinned. Different skin. Um, speaking of story... Yes, it's time to talk about the story. So... Okay. So, for an ending of the Xehanort saga, it's... I, I mean, 
it, it's okay. Um, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of fucking problems with it. Um, the ending is bad. The uh, ending, actually, it the didn't whole feel it wasn't deserved in a way. I, I don't know because the they for they still had to set up for the future games. Yeah. So Luke Skywalker came and saved uh, Xehanort, uh, Xehanort through the power of friendship and went to heaven. Friendship. Um, yeah, which uh, um, they kept reinstating that using the power of awakening, using the power of awakening, there are consequences, there are consequences, there are consequences. And the only time that ever came into effect is because you wanted to have a bullshit, you know, fake out ending of like, well, they rescued Kyrie, but oh no, Sora's not here. So it's to kind of assume that, oh, hey, he might have died or he might not have shown back up. But if you watch the secret ending, it pretty much proves that, yeah, that power of waking is bullshit because he's still alive. And the fact is, he his whole mission for leaving was to find Kyrie. But the others did it off screen. Yeah. Um, that's, with that being said, Final World has some of the most. Oh my god! It does. <laughs> moments throughout the entire series. It has shit that fanboy fanfiction writers can own. It's their wet dream. If you watched my stream, if not, you'll see the clip in a second. I'm not even talking about that. I'm just talking about the fights, the builds up of yeah. teaming up against um, King Mickey to fight the, the Organization 13 members. Teaming up against Ax, Shion, and Roxas to fight Sai Ax. I, 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 I loved those right. team ups. I hated that you had to go through two of them in order to get to the net save. Which was aggravating because you literally would have to work for an hour, hour and a half in order to get to the net safe. And you, oh, and you know, yeah, it, it, people don't, it's a total boss rush. Yeah, but the thing is, an hour and a, people play games. And if you're not like me and stream it, or you're not the die hard and you're just a casual person playing, you might not have an hour and a half to rush the oh, no. boss to, before you can get to that save. Oh, trust me, I. Had to make sure that I uh, power rushed through that before I, like, I had to make sure I took time off because I was really telling myself before I fought Xehanort, I don't know how long this fight can be. Let me get to a point to where I have time to dedicate myself to it. Exactly. Um, With that being said, I still love the fuck out of this game. I don't. It, honest to God, it was... it. I it's have in my top major three video games. It's not in my top three. It's not. I'm just telling you right now, it's not in my top three. It's in my top three. I have major, major issues with this game. I do, but I have not had this much fun having a gigantic grin across my face playing a video game in a long time. I don't think I stopped smiling during the entire yeah. thing of. This game, I was smiling and crying playing Tangled and Toy Story. Um, yeah, I I, I cried cry because I didn't want people to see me crying. But I I cried at the reunion of um, Axel, Roxas, and Shion. Yeah, that that was emotional because you know if, if you're that is a moment where that is for fans. If you've been emotionally invested with these characters for so long, it is so great to see these these moments finally pay off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, now, like with the reveal of Zigbar being the master's apprentice, you know, if you've played all these games, that's a huge fucking moment. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the worlds. Um, um, all the worlds are, are unique, are unique. They're very different from each other. But there are a couple that are very weak compared to others. Others. There are... I think my problem with this was Nomura and his team was so... making each world feel unique in its own way. 
making it feel like this is a one of a kind original world that he didn't really focus on. Okay, how do we properly wrap up these worlds? Yes, especially because there are story. several worlds. There are several worlds to where it feels like this. It feels like okay, we need to go back for a second time, and not one of these come back on your own free time to see how everything's you know happening. Yeah, especially Toy Story. Toy Story literally just ended without anything in the world being fixed, really. Yeah. Now, I mean, this could be you're setting it up for probably it to be a, a sequel for another game. I'm all fine with, but... If we gotta wait because it's not, years. But here's the thing, because that's not confirmed, you know? Two worlds that I find the weakest out of all of them. One, okay. I really don't even consider a world. Hunter Acre Wood. That is Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. It is 20 minutes of Candy Crush. And, and you get a reskin Keyblade. With no story. No. And you get a reskin Keyblade. Exactly. One of the best things about Kingdom Hearts 2 was the Winnie the Pooh stuff. Because you had to literally go to different worlds to find the pieces of the book, come back to Winnie the Pooh, and then continue that story. It story. built upon itself. This, you're picking, um, you're picking stuff from Rabbit's Garden to make Winnie the Pooh a honeypot. Sure. If that. The second world that I find the weakest... And you and I have differed on this. Yeah. My second favorite weakest world is Arendelle. Constantly because of you don't get you don't get any allies until the very end, and it is just one big giant backtrack. Literally, Sora and Donald climb up the same mountain three times and fall the fuck off. In terms of story and bosses. I, Arendelle is near is pretty pretty high up. It's just the backtracking yeah. that is kills a, it. It is an issue. Um, it like, pushes it. I know down a lot of people list. who don't like the ice maze. I like the ice maze. I, I think really it's unique, enjoyed it. But I know a lot of people who don't. You know, it's the, just the constant backtracking that kills me. Yeah, um, the backtracking did push it down my list. It didn't put it as one of my top two worst worlds. Um, my second, the second worst world to me is the Big Hero 6 world. Um, okay. Because a lot of people have argued you feel like a superhero and you're running up and down buildings. Okay, but you run up and down buildings in Tangled. You run up and down buildings in Pirates. It, it, it's, if, okay, so this is the way I describe Big Hero 6 world. It feels like it was developed during Kingdom Hearts 2 days because well, um with big hero with all the other worlds it's like it's a flow it's a natural flow you don't have any if I, if I remember correctly the reason it felt like that was because I think it was developed it was meant to be developed for dream drop distance on the 3DS mm -hmm. but they didn't have time so they bunched it off to 3 um, okay, I mean, that's that would, why. That would explain a lot. That's what, that's why you keep going back to the garage, because you're meant to go back to the garage and switch off between Sora and Riku. You know, there's so there's such a huge emphasis on slow motion, Yeah, because that's what Dream Drop was. Yeah. I think it was. It was a rejected Dream Drop distance world, but they didn't, no more, they didn't have time to put it in the game, so they decided to just scrap it and then put it on to, big, to Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. I mean, that would explain a lot because Dream Drop does have that constant airflow um, yeah. mechanic. Flow motion, and it's also about, okay, you go back to the garage and you switch between Sora and Riku. Yeah, and and that's why I'm talking about Kingdom Hearts 2 style because Kingdom Hearts 2, was, there was hubs you would go to to tell when yeah. you're, tell a character when you're ready. And, like, that that's honestly how Dream Drop is because I, I own it. Um, yeah. So, I mean, the story, it was okay if it wasn't. It's it's at this point now to where it's like, if you're, 
it's really hard to gripe about the Kingdom Hearts story because it's gotten so, so out there. Yeah. You know, it's one of those where it's like, no shit, the story is confusing, okay? Yeah. But I, I mean, even you either terms, get it or you don't. Even in terms of uh, mo- like mo- Disney movie style, um, yeah, it, it just it's good. It, it's 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 decent. Um, that's that's pretty much all I have I have to really say. Um, yeah. What would you give a grade for this? Um, if I had to give it a grade, I probably would give Kingdom Hearts three a B. B. I'm I'm feeling the same way. I'm feeling about a B, solid B. Like I'm, th- I was thinking B plus, but I was thinking B minus. But I'm like, no, it's. I was thinking B plus because of how much fun I had in it. But yeah. in terms of just game wise, B. I- I'm thinking B because I was I did have a blast playing this, but like I said, there's a lot of I have a lot of problems with this game. Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of like not technical wise but like story wise gameplay wise you know like a lot of it is fun but there's really no emphasis for me to really like this is i think the first kingdom hearts game in a long time there's really no emphasis for me to want to go back and replay it even on like yeah. a harder mode yeah i do have to say playing as aqua was fucking amazing um, oh my god fighting her was a I, oh my god oh my god that was fuck that was oh god that was that was one of my favorite boss battles. Uh, Just, I mean, Aqua is one of my favorite characters outside of the main three. But oh yeah, oh she's so great. Um, but anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and like always, I will see you in the next one. Later. Geek out. <laughs> <laughs>